Welcome, welcome. Take a look. The brand new NJTY T58C. And this one does inductance. Had a ton of people requesting this multimeter. A ton of people, I kid you not. Wow. Uh, this one and the other model, the I think it's a 60,000 count, ended up going for the uh, inductance mode just because it's a little bit different. So uh, hopefully it's going to be a good review. Speaking of reviews, if you haven't already done so, check out KeepOnTesting.com. That's right, KeepOnTesting.com. That is the name of the channel, and uh, it's the name of our website. We have a cool little forum going on. Throw me your pics. I love seeing pics of meters, of you know, soldering stations, uh, you name it. I love it. Send it. Hey, we also have pretty good blogs as well. Uh, we got some resident bloggers. Uh, one of them, the name of Paul, does some really good stuff. That you won't see it anywhere else. If you haven't already done so, check it out. Keep on testing.com completely free because I don't beg for nothing except maybe multimeters. I grabbed the T58C from Amazon, about $50 Canadian, around 38 or so US bucks. Ah. Price-wise, you know, it's kind of mid-range, not the cheapest of cheapos, but it's still in that cheapo range. Remember, the cheaper range is around $50 uh, US or under. I know things are going up in price, but I'm trying to keep that $50 as the plateau for the cheapo realm. We'll see how it goes in the next six months or so. Anyway, here we are with our good looking, I say good looking because I think this is a good looking multimeter. What do you think? I've got that nice orange. And you know what, before I get any flack, let's just take off the, uh, infamous plastic wrap oh gosh yes so there we are with this 10,000 count 10,000 count with inductance multimeter now something that this has which is you know not the norm check it out auto backlight yes we have an auto backlight here you don't turn it on it will turn on automatically when the light gets to a certain level so that is cool there you have it, 11957, made in China, 1000 volt true RMS digital multimeter. And besides the box, we get our instruction manual. And it is in Chinese as well as English. Has everything we need. The basics. I hope it's in English. Well, guess what? Ah! It is completely in Chinese, but we don't have an English. Oh, there it is. I thought I saw instructs in English. Good heavens. Okay, so English as well. And there you go. Lots going on with this meter. Give it a good look through. 100 mega ohm maximum for resistance. 100 Henry maximum for inductance down to 10 milli Henry for the inductance range. And we have a 4.0% reading plus or minus five digits in terms of accuracy in the inductance range. Hey, this also does temperature as well. AC, DC current, diode continuity, you know, the, the standard fare. Also get our sleek little carrying case. We'll take a look at that in a second. And we get these test leads. Now, these are not your standard uh, OEM test leads. They feel actually quite heavy. So uh, I'm curious to see how those are gonna perform. Is it just one set of test leads in there? Yes, it is. So yeah, take them out in a second. And like I said, we get that nice carrying case, not really padded per se, but you know what? It's a case and, and that's all that matters. And finally, we get that temperature sensor because yes, this does both Celsius and Fahrenheit for temperature reading. So a pretty good complete package, probably more complete than a lot of multimeters just because it does inductance as well. Oh, I am so anxious to try that out. Almost missed this. There we are. Our certificate of authenticity. September 2024 was the fab date. So you know you've got the real NJTY McCoy. Yeah. Hey, these test leads are very, very nice. And not your standard OEM. These are very, very high end. Uh, you know, I mean, as high end as you're going to get probably in the cheap realm. Very nice. A lot of body to them. And they have that nice protector on top. Remove that. Lose a cat rating. But you do gain that extra space for your test measurements. Very pointy, sharp, and... Uh, nice and long now i don't believe there's silicone but extremely high quality pvc all in all very sweet check it out that dc accuracy 5.01 volts coming up with that 5.00 reference and by the way accuracy wise for dc volts we're looking at plus or minus 0.5 percent and five digits look at that low current accuracy 100 milliamps 100 milliamps Yes, spot on. And now we're sitting at high current amps at nine volts. 
This has a 10 amp maximum reading. Let's bring it up a little bit, shall we? 9.98 volts, and we're now getting that high current alarm. Bring it back down, and we are good. So 10 amps is the max. Hey, I love that audible alarm. All right, we are in capacitance. Let's check out high capacitance. Have a 100 millifarad capacitor here. Let's see how fast it is. It's thinking. I do love that visual thinking. Look at that, 99.8. Wow, that was fast. That was fast. 100,000 microfarad capacitor it only took seconds. Great. Chances are you're going to want to use inductance with this meter. That's probably one of the reasons why you're going to get it. Uh, make sure you have your input here for the inductance. That L stands for the inductance. So you want to make sure that positive input goes like so. Of course, the common or negative stays where it is. And now we are ready for inductance. Put it on L and here we go. I'm going to start off with a small coil here. Let's see how fast this is. I'm excited. Okay, here we go. Coming up at 1.5 Henry, and that's exactly right. Uh, this is erroneously <laughs> marked as 1.5 millihenry, but it is 1.5 Henry inductor. So good stuff. That is pretty well spot on. And I could actually put that against uh, another inductance meter. Of course, the good old sand. Well, let's just hold that reading, shall we? Holding it, and I'm going to put that up against the Sanwa. Just do a comparison here and just see how close they are. Boy, having con uh, inductance on a meter is just awesome. I got to say, totally awesome. And here we are with the Sanwa. So 1,532.4 millihenry equals about 1.5. Henry and look at that 1.48 Henry for the NJTY uh, quick converter there so yeah awfully close and let's not forget the price point here we're talking an expensive Sanwa LCR meter compared to a El Cheapo NGTY multimeter that does inductance Ooh, love it so in case you're wondering this goes from 10 milli Henry all the way up to 100 Henry that is our inductance range right there Let's try another inductor. I got a whole box of them here. Here I have a really low inductor. This is a one millihenry inductor coming up in the Sanwa as just over 1,003 microhenry. And check that out. One millihenry coming up, 1.05. Awesome, awesome. So this has definitely got that accuracy uh, even at the lower level of inductance. And it's actually besting the spec because it's technically it's only supposed to be going down to 10 millihenry. So, oh, I like it. 2.2 millihenry on the Sanwa. Coming in at 2.16 on the NJTY. Finally, 3.3 millihenry coming in at 3.25 on the NJTY. Coming in at 3.3. So there you go. Once again, awfully close. Uber expensive. El Cheapo, this guy is definitely holding its own. And who doesn't like a third opinion? Brand new from Zoe. Zoe ZT DQ02. Full review coming soon. And 3.19 coming up for the Zoe LCR meter. Or 3.2. There you go. Full review coming soon on this guy. Hey, they are all definitely right around the same ballpark. Picture's worth a thousand words. I think it's worth a thousand and one. There you go. All these meters, different shapes, different sizes. Big fluke. Hey, that NGTY compared to that fluke it's sitting up against, it's still fairly big. And look at that tiny little Astro AI. By the way, this was an uber popular review. Oh my God, one of my most popular. And that tiny little Zoe over here on the far right. So it is definitely a good size meter. Not a pocket size though. One thing I'm really liking with this NJTY meter is that selector switch. Oh yeah, it just feels like a million bucks. Honestly, you can't have a nicer feeling selector. Smooth to groove, hits those ranges with authority. Nice clickety click, clackety clack. Now you do have that annoying beep. That's the only thing and there's no way to disable it. But it sure is a darn nice selector. 
AC volts right now, 119.6 volts AC. And this is true RMS. Another cool thing with this is the fact that we have that frequency at the top, uh, 60 hertz, which is really nice. Now check this out. We have that red, glowing little red at the top. You see this over here? That's just to let you know you're in danger mode, so to speak. So that is uh, interesting. Once again, 120 volts AC and bada boom, bada bing, we get that awesome reading as well as that red LED letting us know we are in high voltage. That dual uh, screen readout here at the top, not much you can do right now. We're sitting there with our ambient temperature, but if I hit that uh, function button, can't change it. So really, you know, you are limited in what you're gonna see with that dual display, but that being said, at least it's something. All right, now we are in continuity. Here we go. Stock default test probes. Three, two, one. Not bad. Tiny little bit of a lag, but I do like that. Uh, once again, we have a visual cue here at the top, that red LED. So an audible as well as the visual for continuity. Let's try the probe masters. Oh yeah, a little bit louder, a little bit faster with those Good old Pro Masters. Seventy-seven point five decibels, maximum output in continuity, and that, my friends, is pretty darn loud. And just so you know, that ambient temperature sensor is showing us twenty degrees Celsius, coming at at nineteen point seven or nineteen point six on the Fluke IR thermometer. So accuracy it is. Hey, all in all thus far, I gotta say, I am impressed with this NGTY. This is a really sweet meter. It does basically everything uh, without breaking the bank. Let's take a look on the inside. Already turned down time, here we go. Look at that clean PCB. What a great looking uh, main board we've got here. Clean, 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 no flux whatsoever. Traces all nicely done. By the way, here's the other side of the meter where the battery housing is. Not too much going on and no shielding. This particular IC comes from Hangzhou uh, Microelectronics, a company that manufactures digital multimeter ICs uh, galore. Uh, these integrated circuits are used to implement the core functionality of uh, any digital multimeter. And right beside that on the top there, that's the SD8107, that's 20-bit ADC. Uh, analog to digital converter uh, that has I believe eight kilobytes of uh, OTP memory and uh, once again a really nice chip there are the fuses look at those two tiny little 5 by 20 fuses for the milliamps as well as the high current and there are those input jacks as well split variety I've uh, seen those all the time nice and clean though once again now if you notice take a good hard look yeah we don't have a current shunt per se we have a current sensing resistor but not a current shunt let's go in a little bit closer here we are just a little bit closer now once again there's that main multimeter ic right there and uh, that's a pretty new one it's hard to get any a data sheet on this particular chip and right beside it, like I said, there's the 8107, that 20-bit uh, analog to digital converter. Closer up now for those 5x20 fuses. Man, those are small. It's a good thing you get a couple extras with the meter. Split variety jacks, like I mentioned. And that tiny little current uh, shunt resistor. And But look at that nice spark gap protection going on there. One lonely PTC boy input protection. Nothing great. One of the really cool features with this meter is the fact that you've got those input lead uh, signals. Basically, it's going to tell you where to put those test leads in case you're not sure. Let's uh, switch this on to inductance, for instance. So right away, it's telling you that inductance will go there. That's where you put your test lead to read inductance. Now, if you want to switch over to, let's say, current, aha, uh -huh, you got to move that test lead over here so this sort of verbose kind of you know this is where you gotta put it this could be useful not just for newbies but for pros as well because believe you me sometimes we forget and we all do and you know it's nice to have a second set of eyes already quick look now at a diode light emitting diodes and regular diodes here we go starting off with standard diode have that forward voltage drop we do not however have that nice audible beep over to red led good with the voltage drop yellow yes lit green lit with a voltage drop 
And same thing for the blue and the white. Excellent. Hey, look at that. Almost 4 volts. 3.91 volts. Maximum output voltage in diode mode. Now we're looking at NCV non-contact voltage. And when you put it in NCV mode, there we are coming up with EF. So we have a nice visual indicator as well. And let's try it on the lights. Those tiny little fuses are 5 by 20. Yes, they are tiny 5 by 20 millimeter fuses, and they do give you an extra set shipping with the meter, like so. Hey, that's kind of cool. And look at that easy breezy access to those fuses, both the high current and low current right there. Three AAAs for what powers this bad boy, all easily accessible. Closing thoughts on the NJTY T58C. Oh, I recommend this multimeter. Not only is it functional, not only does it do what you need it to do, but it also does inductance, something that you rarely see in multimeters at any price point. And it does a really good job. Hey, I put this up against some of the big names and it could hold its own. Combine that with one of the best electric switches I've come across in a long, long time. And this multimeter means business. Even for new users, that input lead alert system works and it works really, really well. That will definitely help not just newbies, but pros as well. Really like that high voltage LED alert as well. The T58C definitely has a lot of bells and whistles under the hood, something you don't normally see in this price range, but everything works really well. I didn't even touch on that peak feature. Hey, that is a very nice feature. And that bar graph is actually fairly fast. So all in all, you're getting a lot of bang here for your cheapo multimeter buck. One of the biggest negatives with this meter is that input protection. It really isn't there. So keep it for household mains and you'll be just fine. Too bad we didn't see some of those big mobs, more PTCs that would have made this one the real deal. That being said though, this is some great bang for the buck. It does a lot and you know what? You'd be hard pressed to find a meter in this price range that does everything it can do. The NJTY T58C multimeter that is evolutionary, if not revolutionary, gets a solid four out of five stars. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Hey, I don't say it enough. I don't say it often, but I'm gonna say it right now. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Man, oh man, it really helps those analytics, especially this time of year, summertime. It's a slow time. Coming up, I've got some great stuff this summer. Whoa, oh ho, man, oh man. Uh, I don't even know where to start. Hey, let's start with, with coming down the pipe very soon. I'm gonna have a three-way shootout between three of the best portable soldering irons money can buy. And it's not a lot of money. Hey, stay tuned for that. Also, get a load of this. I'm gonna have a Klein week coming up this summer. Yes, a Klein week. Oh, I've waited so long for that. I know you have too. That is exciting. That and so much more. Hey, subscribe, don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.